Hello guys, Survival Tech Nord here. This is a quick video response to GorillaCom regarding his video entitled High Frequency SHTF Communications Is It an Immediate Need Item? Short answer is absolutely not. Most people could consider bidirectional HF communications a luxury. And depending on the type of emergency or SHTF situation you're dealing with, a shortwave receiver would probably fit most people's needs. Sometimes people think that there is a competition between HF and VHF or UHF. HF, as opposed to VHF and UHF, isn't better, it's just different. It's like comparing a Torx head screwdriver to an Allen wrench, or a Leatherman to a Swiss Army knife. One might not be necessarily better than the other, but there are different tools in the toolbox to help you achieve the goals of the job you have to do. Why do we find so much HF stuff on Survival Tech Nord then? Well, there's a couple of reasons for that. Firstly, I believe that SHTF can come in a lot of different shapes, colors, and sizes. And whatever that emergency is, I want to approach it by maximizing your capabilities with the least amount of gear possible. I also want to open the dialogue, open the discussion, and get people involved with sharing their knowledge and learning. So should you get started with HF communications? Honestly, I think GorillaCom said it best. You've got a starting point, and for most people, that's VHF and UHF. A technician class amateur radio license, or and some basic comm skills. There's no need to go out and drop a couple of thousand bucks on amateur radio gear if your other preps and your other skills aren't in order yet. Of course, there is an exception to this. Quite often, many of the people you see commenting on some of my videos are responsible for communications and technology within groups or communities which support one another in an SHTF situation. So if it's your responsibility as a dedicated comms tech for your group or community, providing them with news and information, of course you need to maximize your capabilities and that would include HF communications. But what's even more important than HF capabilities is for individuals and families to understand the capabilities of the radio equipment that they have available to them. And that's the whole learning to walk before you run thing. So for those people who are asking where should they start or should they be on HF or not, this is how I answer that question. Well, you start where you can. You learn what you can. You keep moving forward and you share the knowledge. One final point that uh, GorillaCom made in this video was about setting priorities. One of the priorities that I have is getting myself back into fighting shape and that is a top priority for me. And watching you humping through my old backyard, well, that's an inspiration and I appreciate it. So thanks for sharing and doing all that you do. I'll put a link to GorillaCom's channel in the description. I'll put a link to the original video also in the description. And if you haven't checked out uh, GorillaCom yet, you need to get over there and do so. Rock and roll, guys. Thanks for watching. Ciao.